All right, so I want to show you how to create the multiple baseline design graph in Excel. Um, as you can see, I already inputted the dates and number. Um, so maybe it saves you some time in the video. Um, we have John, David, and Bob as participants. Okay, so we're going to start with creating John's graph here. Uh, I click on here, drag all the way down to the bottom. I hit insert line, and then click on this line graph. All right. And then uh, I'll do this relatively quickly, but uh, if you want to see like step-by-step -step instructions, uh, you can check out the other video that I created for the line graph with the condition line. Okay, so I'm gonna just delete this legend and the horizontal lines here. And then uh, I don't want this to be in blue. I click on this format data series, marker options built in. Uh, I'll change it from a diamond to circle. Marker fill, solid fill, black. Line color, solid fill, uh, solid line, and a black. Marker line color, solid line, and black. All right, and then uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. All right, okay. Now I'm creating the graph uh, for David, uh, but what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna copy this and paste it in here, okay? Um, I'm gonna overlap just a little bit. All right, um, and then as I click here, and then uh, I can, Right now, of course, the uh, data, John's data is selected. So I'm going to change this to David. All right. I'll click drag. And I only select David's now. So here, now we have David's data and the graph. Okay. Uh, I'll do the same thing. I'll copy this and paste it in here. Then I overlap this a little bit. I'm going to hide the dates. And then the data here, I'm gonna choose Bob's. There. Now I have Bob's graph here. And then I don't want to see these like border lines. So I'll click on here, right click, format chat, uh, chart area, border color, no line, okay. I do the same thing again for David, format chart area, border color, no line. And for Bob, no line. All right, it's looking more like uh, the multiple baseline design here now, okay? All right, um, as I want to put the condition line here, I don't want this data, uh, data path. All right, I'm gonna delete this data path. I'll click on this, click one more time. So this data, path, uh, data point is selected. And then I right click, format data point, line color, no line, close. See that? Now the data path disappeared. Same thing for David. I'm gonna do this here. So I'll click on this one more time. Right click, format data point, line color, no line. See that? Okay, same thing for Bob. No line. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to put the condition lines. I just uh, click on this, uh, insert shapes and this line here. All right. And then uh, I choose from here, click here and draw all the way up here. And then I want this to be in black. So let's click on this and then click on this line again. And then I'm gonna draw a line here, black. Line again, okay, here, black, 
There, and then I can move the names to the corner here. All right, and then I want to choose a uh, insert text box. And then here, how about baseline? One more time. Text box, and then here, uh, how about token economy? All right, okay, so well, this is too big, so I'll zoom out. Okay, see this? You can see the entire graph here. Uh, if you like, uh, you can use snipping tool and then choose from the top to the bottom. There. Now you have a multiple baseline design graph here. 